So today, students, we are going to talk about fat pants. <laughs> fat pants from five years ago are now your skinny pants. <laughs> That's the way it happens, because your uh, fat weight from five years ago is now your goal weight. And everybody has fat pants. Even a size double zero supermodel has in her closet, I guarantee you, a pair of two. <laughs> size twos for when she eats three crackers and feels a little bloated. She's got it. <laughs> She's got it. Because our weight fluctuates, am I right, girls? It fluctuates uh, by what we ate, what we drank, the time of the day, the time of the month, the month of the year, <laughs> the barometric pressure, the stock market, <laughs> who got eliminated on Dancing with the Stars. It doesn't matter. We fluctuate. We gain a little, you know, we got to have them. There's two kinds, two kinds of fat pants that you own, I guarantee you. Uh, the one size is like this, um, no jeans for me today, okay? <laughs> Second pair you own is, I'm so fat I could float in the Macy's parade, okay? <laughs> That's, we call those extreme fat pants, EFPs, okay? You know you have them, you know you have them. And we keep our fat pants, I do at least, in a plastic container under my bed. Um, the thought of those fat pants under there just waiting to come out and make me pay for not exercising, that's absolutely terrifying. I even write the word fat pants on the plastic container that I keep them in. There's some sort of glory in labeling them, so like I can take them out and go, oh, see what I used to wear? See, except when you gain weight. And then you have to put your skinny pants under there, and I always label those pants the dryer shrunk. <laughs> That's what I labeled those. 